Paige and welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. Today's video is going to be my last empties video of 2020. Originally I was planning on filming my reveal video today of my makeup room but I actually decided that it would be a good idea to save that for the last day of Vlogmas. So I'm going to post that video on Christmas Eve and I'm really excited about it. I'm sorry to have like teased you a little bit buy it by telling me I was posting it today and then not but it's just a couple of days away I wanted to get these empties out of here before I filmed that video just because they're kind of like ugly and they take up a lot of space so I figured it would make more sense to do it in, in this order anyway if you guys don't know what I'm talking about I basically completely redid my entire makeup collection and storage of all of my beauty products and it was like a five-part series so all of that is like the last few days of vlogmas and i plan on posting my reveal video on christmas eve so anyway i have a lot of empties to go through today so we're just going to dive in i'm going to give you a quick little opinion on the products and basically whether i would purchase them or not also i just quickly threw on a little bit of makeup so this is like my no makeup makeup kind of look uh, nothing too crazy, but anyway, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. So I had a lot of requests from my last empties video to save my candle empties, and honestly, I don't know if I'm going to do this again because I have a lot of candles to show you guys. We burned through so many, it's insane. We have some fall candles and some Christmas candles in here, so I'm just going to like speed round this part. So the first candle is this one from Anthropology. This is Juniper and White Amber. Oh my gosh, that was loud. Super pretty jar. It was 30, no, it was $28, which I would not spend $28 on this again. Um, it burned for a while, but like, it just wasn't worth it to me. It was cute and all, but just not worth it. I have a candle from DW Home. This is in the scent Lava. I love this candle. Jarvis and I both love this candle. Oh, it smells so good. You can get it at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Home Goods. This one was $6.99. Much more reasonable of a price. And here's the size comparison. They're basically the same. <laughs> so, yeah, these are awesome. If you guys ever see these, I highly recommend them. You can find them at any of those stores. We also have Tricks and Treats. This is from DW Home as well. I told you there's like some fall candles in here. This one smelled really good it was kind of like fruity but then also kind of like caramely very interesting scent but i actually really liked it we did have a few dw home candles that were like fall scents that we were not fans of and we ended up like not burning them all the way because it was too rough but that one was really good and then i have two from huntington home which is a brand that they sell at aldi which is like a grocery store and these were like $3.99 each. They're three wick candles, same size as Bath and Body Works. And these are in this scent, hashtag pumpkin everything. These were amazing. I loved this scent. They burned really slow. Like the flame was really small that like it took forever to go through these candles. And they smelled so good. But they don't like keep them in stock. They kind of like rotated out their candles. Like every week they had different candles. But those were really, really nice. And then we have Bath & Body Works, which for the most part, I love Bath & Body Works. So I'm just going to kind of run through the names of the ones that we burned through. So we have Fresh Balsam, one of my personal favorites. I love that one. This one is Mahogany Coconut. Jarvis burned that in his office. That smelled so good. Then we've got Black Teakwood, another really, really good candle. We have Cinnamon and Clove Buds. This one was amazing. We burned that in our kitchen. It smells so good. Then we have Spice. This one's also really good. I got this last year. And at first I was like, hmm, not like too big of a fan of it. But the more that we burned it, the more I actually really liked it. And we actually went through two of those. And by the way, I do not pay full price for Bath & Body Works candles. Like literally, I only buy them on sale. Like 50% off or more. Next we have Mahogany Balsam. This one is intense. Ooh, this one is intense. But it was really, really good. Once again, Jarvis burned that in his office. Then I have Pink Apple Punch. I actually burned this in my background for a while. Um, you guys probably noticed that. It takes me forever to go through these candles because I only light them when I'm filming. Oh, this one's so good. So freaking yummy. 
Then we have Holiday, which is another great candle. That one is from last year. I wanted to like burn through some of my older Bath & Body Works candles like from last year because I also got a bunch of this year. Um, then we have Cinnamon Irish Cream. I love this one. It's very sweet though, like kind of like too sweet almost, but I really like it. I don't know what it is. It smells like, um, like the creaminess of hot chocolate minus the chocolate. It's just, it's so yummy. But once again, that one would not be for everybody. And then the last candle that I have is Pink Fairy Gumdrop, which I think... Yeah, that's what I'm burning right now, and I love this candle. I think it smells really good. It's kind of like cotton candy bubblegum sort of scent, which once again, very sweet. So if that's not your thing, you would not like it. But that was my speed round of candle reviews. So now we're going to move on to the body products, which I have this entire bin filled of stuff. I guess I'll start with hair care products and I'll just try to kind of keep things in order, but honestly, like, we'll see how it goes. The first product here is a purple shampoo. This is the Shimmer Lights shampoo, and I got this at Sally's. This is like the only purple shampoo I've used, and I've used it for a very long time, and I think this works really, really well. I got one from the place where I got my hair done, and I just feel like it's not as intense. Like, I like an intense purple shampoo, which is why I like this one. So, I, I don't know. I think I might go back to this. I'm just such a fan of this one. And I know, like, people say it's not good for your hair. But, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I think it works really well. It doesn't dry my hair out too bad. But my friend Kristen actually uses a purple conditioner so I need to message her and ask her the brand again because she told me I was gonna order it from Amazon and then I totally forgot so I'll try that out and let you guys know how I like it it's like a conditioner so it's like even less drying than a shampoo would be so I'm excited to try that out um, we also have a shampoo and conditioner here my boyfriend Jarvis actually used these up his products are in here as well um, these are from Dry Bar. We have the Happy Hour Blowout Shampoo and the Happy Hour Weightless Conditioner. I think he he used them. He didn't hate them, but he wouldn't purchase them again. Um, so, yeah. I mean, that's kind of how I feel about these. The more I've used them, the more I'm just like, huh? I'm like, eh, I don't know. I've been using Olaplex, and I have been loving it. I've only been using it for like a week, though. But so far, I really love it, and I just, I don't know. I got those ones, I think I got these at like Marshalls or something, so I didn't pay full price, but I just think they're too pricey for what they are. Next, I have some Body Shop Banana Hair Masks. So when I purchased these, I purchased the shampoo, and it was like, buy two, get one free, or something like that, and they didn't have the conditioner. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just use the hair mask like as a conditioner. And I went through both of these, and it is really nice. It's for normal to dry hair, so I guess it's like good if you have damaged hair, but I don't know. I just, mm, wasn't my favorite thing, so I probably wouldn't repurchase that. I would much rather try something else. I'm pretty sure I only have one more hair product. Oh no, I have two more hair products. The first one is from Amika. This is, oh no, no, it's from Eva NYC. This is the Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. And it's like this little spray. It was like a little travel size. My mom had the full size. She gave me the little mini. This is really good. Like it's a nice detangler. It's a little bit oily though. So if you have thinner hair or blonder hair, it can make your hair look a little bit greasy. But whoa, does it work. It gets the tangles right out. <laughs> so I feel like it might have been a little bit too heavy for my hair personally. But I did enjoy using that. But I don't think I would purchase the full size. I really want to get the It's a 10 hair product. So I'll probably order that next. And I also actually had another sort of leave-in treatment. This is from Drunk Elephant. This is the Wild Marula Tangle Spray. I really enjoyed this. At first, I wasn't that big of a fan. I was like, eh, it's okay. It smells good, but, like, it's okay. But I ended up really, really loving this. I did just pick up a couple of new hair products from Olaplex and then also another brand that starts with an M. I got it from Sephora. It's, like, Mizani or something like that. I don't know how you pronounce it, but... I think I'm gonna go through those first and then this is something I would definitely consider repurchasing in the future I think it's pretty pricey just because drunk elephant is expensive um, but it was really good and it's definitely something that I would consider repurchasing but I'm not like going out to buy it immediately moving on to some body products I actually have quite a few 
Lush products to talk about. I have two shower gels. The first one is Lord of Misrule. I love Lord of Misrule. I think it's such a delicious scent. It's like patchouli and just like spicy and yummy. It's like a green color and I think it's like a classic. It's a holiday scent but it's a classic so that's definitely something that I would repurchase. I actually think I have another one of those so I don't need to repurchase it but that's like one of my favorite scents from Lush. And then I also have the It's Raining Men Shower Gel. This is like the little itty bitty mini one. And this one smells so good. Mm, love it. Um, but definitely not something I would repurchase. I would prefer something like Snow Fairy, which is like more sugary, sweet, that kind of thing. So um, those are nice. I love Lush Shower Gels. Um, I would repurchase Lord of Misrule, but maybe not It's Raining Men. I have a little mini of the Magic Crystals Shower Scrub. This one, was this the one that smells like toothpaste? Yes, whoo, this one is minty. It smells like toothpaste and it makes your skin cold. <laughs> like once you get out of the shower, your skin is like freezing cold because of like the minty feeling. It's super bizarre. Um, but I actually really like this scrub. This like looks disgusting, so sorry about that. There's like hard water on it. Um, but yeah, I really like that. I love Lush's scrubs. Um, I actually just bought one that's like orange scented. I forgot the name of it. Um, but I just recently picked that up. And then I also have Scrub Scrub Scrub. This one, I don't remember what this one smells like. Mmm, I don't know. That doesn't really smell too good <laughs> when I smell the container. But I feel like it was okay. It was either, I think this one was black like the color was black and I think this one was like a purpley color I think they're nice um and I wouldn't mind having another one but I'm not in a rush to repurchase them just because I have so many scrubs at the moment I really want to try those tree hut scrubs from Ulta like I'm dying to try one of those scrubs I've seen them at Ulta for forever and so many people have recommended them to me but now I feel like they're like famous on TikTok and I really want to try one. Um, next we have a cookie dough body scrub. This is something that I, I used some of it but Jarvis used the majority of it and he really liked it. He's actually used up, like this is the second one that he's used up. And it smells like almond extract so if you like that then I think you would really like this scent. Um, it says it's like vanilla pistachio oil it definitely smells it doesn't smell like a chocolate chip cookie but it smells like a yummy dessert and once again i love the lush um scrub like consistency it's coarse enough but it's also like liquidy at the same time kind of weird but i'm a fan and then the last lush product that i have is the let the good times roll face and body cleanser I love this stuff. It smells like a sugar cookie. It's like a dough consistency and you just take a little bit off and I like to just like rub like my neck and chest and I'll even put it on my face and it's really really nice but I don't think I'm going to repurchase that just because once again I have so many things that I need to try and go through so yes I'm trying to focus on using things and like you know not purchasing things before I'm ready for it, if that makes sense. Next, we have the Candy Panda Whipped Body Scrub in the scent Seashells. This smells so good. This was like, mm, it's like beachy, like ocean air, like a little bit cologne-y uh, kind of, but like very fresh and beachy at the same time. So freaking good. Jarvis used this up mostly also. And I love Candy Pandas with body scrubs. They're one of my favorite brands for body scrubs. They're so freaking good. And they're a smaller business. Love supporting small businesses. I actually plan on filming like my favorite small businesses video and posting that within the next couple days. I thought that would be a really fun idea just to kind of let you guys know some of my personal favorites. And then I would also love to know some of yours. Like, so when I post that video, y'all better be ready to comment your favorite small businesses so that I can check them out. Last two body care products, we have a foot mask. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is from Target. This is the uh, Holler and Glow, I think. I kind of ripped off the top. This is the Perfect Petty Transforming Intensive Foot Peel. You guys, my feet, they, I put this on for the recommended time, nothing happened. It's a 60 to 90 minutes nothing happened for like a week and then all of a sudden my feet started peeling off like literally they were peeling so bad 
That was the second time I've done one of those masks. I, Jarvis told me that I needed to do it. <laughs> so I did it and then oh boy. When I bought it, I didn't know it was one of those peeling ones. I thought it was just like a moisturizing one, but then I read like the description and I was like, oh no. And uh, yeah, foot peeled like crazy. So if you want that, this one from Target will do it, but I personally don't recommend it. I would not repurchase it. It was not fun, it was messy, and although it was satisfying, I don't feel like it gave me any good long-term effects. So, yes. <laughs> and then <laughs> the last product that I have for body care is a pink sugar perfume. This is my favorite perfume ever. I love it so much. Super sugary and sweet and delicious. I love it so much. I already opened up a new one. This is something that I would repurchase forever. I've been wearing this since high school. <laughs> Probably close to 10 years now I've been wearing this perfume. It's so good. I love it. I, I love it. It's not for everybody, but if you like a good sugary sweet scent, you will like it. I guess technically this is also a body care. This is a little mini high CBD formula body lotion from Lord Jones. I got this as a Sephora point perk. I just used it up. I thought it was all right. Um, nothing too crazy. I think it's really expensive, so it's probably not worth the price, but it was all right. I didn't mind using that. Um, now I have some skincare to talk about, and then we will finish the video off with my makeup empties. So for skincare, we have the Shiseido Facial Cottons, which I freaking love. Like, I love these so much. This is the big pack. And um, my friend Alicia, we actually just exchanged Christmas gifts, and she got me another pack of them, and I was like, yes! <laughs> these are my favorite cotton pads. They're so soft. It's like so luxurious. And it's a splurge, but like it's so worth it. Like I freaking love them. They're so soft and I just, oh, I love. And sometimes you can find the smaller packs at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home, or not Home Goods, but TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but otherwise they do sell them at Sephora. I think this size is like $12 and I forgot how many you get in here, but oh, 165 sheets. So it's expensive for cotton pads but like it's worth it next i have the garnier skin active micellar cleansing water i love this stuff it is so good it's the one with the pink cap i think it's just like the regular one they have one for oily skin i want to say and one for sensitive skin maybe but i just like this one definitely a repurchase of mine i already have another one that i'm using currently and this is super amazing because it doesn't burn my eyes it gets off all of my makeup like literally all of it Anytime I like, you know, use a makeup cleansing balm, wash my face, I still have like mascara all over my eyes. I just put a little bit of this on one of those Shiseido cotton pads and every single speck of my makeup is gone. I love it so much. I'm not sure how expensive it is and I know there's one from Bioderma that I heard is really good, but I mean, I'll have to look at the price difference, but this lasted me forever and it's amazing and I highly recommend that micellar water. Another makeup remover product that I have is the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. I got this, like, actually I think my mom got this as like a free gift with purchase type thing and then she gave it to me and then I used it, so I would not repurchase this. It was a really good makeup remover, but this is where it's at right here. This micellar water is so much better. I have an empty Curology bottle here. I've been using Curology for almost two years now. I'm a big fan. I've kind of been a little bit on and off with it, like in more recent months, <laughs> like the last eight or nine months probably, um, but I'm trying to get back into a scheduled routine. It's really nice. It really cleared up my skin once I started using this. Um, so yeah, I still am actively using that. Then I have some moisturizing products. This is the belief, there's dust all over this. This is the belief, believe in truth. Wait, no, yes, the Aqua Bomb, the True Cream Aqua Bomb. <laughs> and this is really, really nice. This, um, I actually love the scent of it and I really love this moisturizer but I actually did give this to Jarvis and he did use this up and he really enjoyed it as well. It's sort of like a gel base and it's just really good. I highly recommend that. He has another one that he's already using and it's like a jumbo one 
so yeah really nice moisturizer and then i have an eye cream that i used up this is the cheer up eye cream from pharmacy i love this eye cream this was like the first product from pharmacy that i really fell in love with i had tried one of their other products and it was i think their face wash like their honey face wash or whatever and i'm pretty sure my skin did not like that and had a little bit of a reaction but I don't know like it's probably been about two years since I tried that product so I kind of want to try it again and see but I used this one with a little bit of hesitation just because I didn't know how my skin was gonna react but then I loved it like this is so good I literally used up the entire thing which eye cream is hard to go through <laughs> And then the last skincare product that I have is the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's Magic Cream. This is a very expensive product. This is like a little one. Like it's about the size of an eye cream. And this is very scented. It smells like rose, which I'm not a fan of rose. Ugh, I just, it's not my kind of scent. Um, and it's very fragrant. So I pretty much just used this on like my neck and like my hands and I got through it I do not think that this is worth the price. The full size is like a hundred and something dollars Way too expensive. Definitely not something that I would personally recommend just based on my experience And then to finish things off we have some makeup products It makes me so excited when I go through makeup products because I have so many that like if I go through it, that means something. <laughs> like, that really means something. So, the first one is the Carity Bold Mood Mascara. This is what I have on my eyes right now. And I just, like, used the last little bit that was in here. And it's pretty much dried up. This is a really nice mascara. It's called the Bold Mood. But I actually think it's more of a natural mascara. And I really enjoy it on, like, no makeup makeup kind of days like today um i feel like normally it's a little bit more intense but it was just like so dried up i was like wow <laughs> like i need to put this in an empties but it was really really nice they sent that to me in pr and i did truly enjoy that next we have the benefit 24 hour brow setter i love this clear brow gel this is my favorite clear brow gel it is so good so good definitely something that i would repurchase I love it. I already have another one in my drawer. As soon as I'm done with my Anastasia Beverly Hills one, I'm going to open this up and use it. Next, I have a Sephora Collection Brush Tip Lash Adhesive. Once again, this is like my second one I've gone through. These last forever, like forever. And um, I love it. I love the fact that it has a brush tip. I used, I tried the Duo Glue one and burned the crap out of my eyes this does not bother my eyes whatsoever my lashes stay on all day and i'm pretty sure they have a black one as well so if you prefer like a darker lash uh glue you could totally try that one i haven't personally tried it i like the clear one but it's so good and i think it's like ten dollars next we have a liquid lipstick this is from morphe this is the liquid lip in the shade virgin this is like my favorite this has been my favorite liquid lipstick for so long i'm so obsessed it's so beautiful it's like the perfect pinky nude it's pretty much completely dried up which is why i put it in the empties it's like basically gone and this is definitely something that i would repurchase but i actually already own a second one so i don't have to but i love this color so much it's perfect next we have the morphe continuous setting mist and this is the sweet peach one it's like a little mini and this is I love the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Like, it's so good. Definitely something I would repurchase. This one smelled really good. Like, mm, it was peach scented and the packaging was super cute. It is like a smaller one, but it still lasted me a really long time. So, I don't think that they sell this anymore, but they have their regular one, which is just as good. And yeah, I definitely would repurchase the regular one. I actually have like four bottles of it, so I don't need to, but this was really nice and I did enjoy using that. And then the very last product that I have to talk about is from Huda Beauty. This is the Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in the shade Pound Cake. I freaking love this thing. There's like a tiny bit of powder left, but like I can't get it out. And it's not enough to like set my face. So I actually already repurchased this and I already put it in my everyday makeup drawer because I love it that much. So yes, I would repurchase this. It's very fragrance, which is a negative, but it's worth it it's just so good so 
those were my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I tried to go quick because these videos always take me forever to edit and to film. I just spend way too much time talking, so I tried to keep the review short and to the point and basically tell you about repurchase it or not. I hope you all enjoyed. I love these videos. I love watching these videos because I feel like you can give a true opinion on a product once you've completely used it up so yeah <laughs> if there's makeup products that i used up they're definitely good <laughs> well that is pretty much it from me for vlogmas day 21 tomorrow i don't know what tomorrow's video is going to be it might either be a fails video or my favorite small business video one of those two and then the other one will probably be the following day. And then my makeup room reveal will be on Christmas Eve. And then I'm not posting on Christmas, but I plan on posting a what I got for Christmas video, which will probably be up the day after Christmas or two days after Christmas. And then I will post a best of 2020 video for makeup, hair care, body care, skin care, and random things at the very end of the year. So that will be my last video and then we have the new year which i actually plan on posting on a regular schedule so i'm thinking monday wednesday friday at either 12 p.m eastern or 3 p.m eastern i posted a poll i'm not sure which one i think it was one of those though so let me know what you guys think in the comments if you would rather me post at 12 p.m eastern which is 9 a.m pacific or 3 p.m eastern which is 12 p.m pacific i would love to hear your thoughts so anyway i love you guys so so much i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you all in the next one bye